My name is Lara. I'm Japanese. I'm 14 years old. I live in Tokyo. Ever since I was very little, I've loved drawing. And ever since I was very little, I've had this little imaginary land called Lara Land. Now I'm drawing a little poodle that's having a little breakfast brunch with its owner. The owner is in her bathrobe and she is drinking champagne with her dog. Of course champagne is dog friendly so it's okay. little balcony, I'm going to draw a lady with curlers in her hair that's getting ready to go to work. I think she looks more like a cat lady than a dog lady, so I'm going to draw a little cat next to her and sunglasses because every cat should have a nice pair of sunglasses. She also looks a bit of a plant mom, so I'm going to draw a few plants around her. we should have all kinds of people so on this balcony I'm going to draw a palm tree and it's going to be a little vacation area for the apartment owner to relax sometimes the apartment owner is obviously relaxing in the morning so she's gonna have her hair in a towel the mood I would like to draw an eccentric person with a few like angular things and it looks like a fashion designer just brushing her teeth like everyone does in the morning drawing is lacking a bit of greenery so I'm just going to draw a balcony with a bunch of plants just a bunch of fruit trees a bunch of flowers no plants are like your little children so every morning we must give our plants breakfast and this woman is doing exactly that she is watering her plants with a little hat on now i'm going 
going to draw the inside of the house. I'm going to put a few matryoshkas there um, because I think matryoshkas are so cute. I love matryoshkas. I don't think the lady below likes the lady above that much. So I think this is some Lara Land drama. But she's thinking of cutting the leaves because it's dangling on her window. She looks like the type of person that will have a golden chandelier instead of just a silver one like any humble person would have. So, I don't know, I think she'll have an afternoon tea for breakfast. I think she'll have shoes hanging from her balcony because she's the sort of person that will still wear heels on a rainy day. So I think she's hanging them um, to dry them out. going to add some final touches to my drawing. I'm going to hang some bags and some shoes here because I think she's a fashion designer. Now it's time to start coloring. I think she looks good with pastel colors. Paris used to be a place with very, very small, narrow alleyways and wooden houses. But there was a guy called Georges Eugène Haussmann who completely changed Paris's architecture. And now there's the Paris we see today with big, beautiful white buildings and dreamy balconies. Pink is a pretty, but again, regal color with a lot of energy. I think this person is definitely some sort of pink person. I recolored it in a more, um, in a bolder, brighter pink. As all fabulous people like you must know, it's not easy being fabulous, and especially if you're fabulous in Lara Land. You need a vacation sometimes, and sometimes you just need an accessible vacation on your balcony, and that's what this person did.
these people with strong exotic colors that are big and bold just like them. This person seems extremely sweet, so I'm going to put slightly mild but still very colorful, cheery, a very colorful, cheery atmosphere to it. In the Roman Empire, only emperors were allowed to wear purple. That was because purple was made with a very special seashell and we needed a lot of seashells just to color something purple. This is why purple is now associated with royalty and power. Good morning to le monde because to le monde is everybody in French. Good morning to le monde. Pink lady. Lady getting ready to work with curlers in her hair. The lady who just wants a holiday. The fashionista brushing her teeth. The lady who loves her plants. And the posh princess. Good morning, tout le monde. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.